untie me. This is the commander. Hi, boss. I'm about to vacate the Dragon Lab, voluntarily. I won't give Flunt's flunkies the satisfaction of evicting me. But I'll be standing by if you need my input, so keep your communicator handy. Expecting someone else? What's this? I will friends it back. What do you say we take things a little more slowly this time?
proving to be quite useful. I don't want to kill you. Spirit, do not be afraid. I'm not sure why I'm here, or even who I am. That's because most spirits find their own way to their fate when they die. But those whose deaths are too traumatic often forget who they were. 
or how they perished. These spirits, like you and me, end up here, in the domain of the lost. But I can't be here. You will reach your rightful place in time. First, you must recover your name, to know who you were and how you lived. Then, you must learn your purpose, to understand the choices you made, and why you lived as you did. Once you know your name and purpose, only then can I determine your final destination. But how do I do that? Nana has traveled the path you now face. She can assist you. For though they may have belonged to you in life, once your name and purpose enter this domain, they are yours no longer. And you will have to fight to reclaim your name. Now, arm yourself. Nana. So, you discovered your name. How do I reclaim mine? I learned my name from the spirit of my old mentor. But only after vesting him in a challenge of riddles. I discovered my purpose hidden in an old diary I had written as a child. I was a teacher. Is it that simple? It's different for everyone. The judge said you must fight to recover your name. So you clearly were the teacher. A soldier, perhaps? I... I don't know. Well, if you are to fight, you must first arm yourself. With what? Spirits must abandon their positions before they may move on. find something useful. No, I can't fight with any of this. I shouldn't be able to fight with this. That spirit looks just like me. We should follow. I was a leader, a commander. I could tell. You wielded that weapon like a true fighter. And I don't know why I fought. What I strove for. Or against. 
Next is your purpose. What drove you forward and ultimately led to your death? The answer is here, somewhere in the domain of the lost. You just have to find it. But how will I know it? Where will I find it? want to forge a working relationship with the Orders, so you're going to join their investigation. When, when Zaitan rose from slumber, the dragon found a long-dead nation and claimed it. The soul of Tyria mourned as her children were cut down by the beast. The land wept and the world shuddered. Nobody believed I had courage. Not even me. And then you came along. But you trusted me then, my friend. I need, I need you to trust me now. I, I can do this. Victory at Fort Trinity will show the world that we can strike against the dragons. Assault Ara. We can destroy Zaitan before the dragon's inflection claims us all. We have, we have succeeded, but only by coming together to fight a greater foe. You have shown the way. You have, you have my gratitude, Commander, for all you've done. Tonight, Tonight I, saw I saw it. I, I, I stared into the abyss, and it stared back at me. So, so much power. I don't, I don't know what's real and what isn't anymore. City. It's, it's gone. gone. All, all gone. And here. Aren't you even curious about why I did it? All this chaos and destruction? You, you 
fools! You think my death saves you? Too late. something I can no longer protect. You must understand its importance to Tyria's future. The, the, the legends were true. There is a dragon egg. You're not leaving until you tell me the truth. Fowlin, is it necessary? We come from the jungle, dragon. We belong to it. We are meant to serve it. Now with everything we had to deal with here, the Pax Fleet may have already launched. Welcome sight, Commander. The situation is grim. Mordermoth tore the fleet apart. Pact is in ruins. I don't, I don't trust him, You need me to shoot you. Offspring has chosen you. Channel this gift to get the egg to safety. Go. Go. Confront Mordromoth. No matter how that mission ends, know that you have restored hope to Tarir and to the world. You must kill me, Commander. Before that seed grows, before Mordromoth reclaims what it has lost. Our creator now lies vanquished. Where does that leave the Solari? What is our place in this new world we've created? sleep more soundly with the Dragon Slayer at the helm of a new guild. So, so, so only you get to decide when we take down a dragon? Only you are allowed to kill them? You know, you know what, Commander? I'm glad you didn't join Destiny's Edge. My mother wouldn't want you in there. my life for, uh, what, what should we call it? Her. Her name is Ori. I am the last Mersault. Many years ago, you knew me as Lazarus the Dyer. I have returned from the brink of existence. But, but 
who would pose as Lazarus. No, it can't be. Renth welcomes all, noble spirit. Step forward, and I will send you to your appointed place. You must let me go back. I see you clearly now, Commander. Balthazar killed you, but you would face him again? Balthazar has done great harm here. The magic he uses to hijack spirits shakes the foundations of the domain of the lost. But I cannot help you. If I could only get back, if I could defeat him, it might undo the damage he's done in both our worlds. <sighs> it is too late. No life remains in your body. Unless, when Balthazar left, a fearsome beast, the Eater of Souls, rose to prey on the waning life energy of the spirits here. That's got to be the screams I've heard in the distance. If you were to defeat the beast and claim its power, that life energy might be strong enough to reanimate your body, allowing you to go back. But... If you were to fail, the beast would consume your entirety. I could grant you no final reward or punishment. Your spirit would simply cease to be. I'll take that risk. Now that I've rediscovered my purpose, I have to go back to finish what I started. Then in Grant's name, Conquer the Eater of Souls and live again. Remind Balthazar that none escape judgment.
spirits have been revived. This certainly is unusual, Commander. But since Jogo's arrival, nothing here has been the same. It's clear he doesn't belong here. He's not a spirit, but he's not strictly alive either. Uh, that's the problem. Joko can't be judged here, because he's not truly dead. What's worse, the magic spells are used to contain him are beyond the judge's power to break. They exist at Balthazar's will. This is as far as I go. I must face judgment and receive my final reward. Good luck, Commander. Step forward, wandering spirit. Why have you avoided judgment? I've been afraid. I think I've lived a good life, but I could have done more. I see you clearly now, Nena. You worshipped Cormier and were a teacher. I had to hide my worship. I would not teach Joko's propaganda, so I fled. I was killed by Balthazar's army. You did what you could with what you had. You may go now. Cormier's library awaits. Every book ever written can be found and read there. A new world awaits you. Go now, with Grinth's blessing. Thank you. Praise to Cormier and to Grinth. I knew you'd be back, but I bear no grudges, harbor no ill will. Release me now, and I will still honor the deal you foolishly rejected. Your help is worthless. I've found my own way back, and I'm off to succeed where you failed, by defeating Balthazar. Good for you. Such pluck and self-delusion. Off you go, then. Of course, you are forgetting one crucial detail. Balthazar has an army. Do you have an army, little one? Well, I do. An army to rival that of the disgraced god. We both know you don't stand a chance without my awakened soldiers. You may be right about that. I do need your army. But I don't need you. What? No. My awakened are loyal to me. They'll never obey anyone but their beloved God King. Really? Because in your absence, your army obeys the Mordant Crescent. I've seen it, and I can use it. I warn you, do not leave me here. By royal decree, I forbid it. Sorry, Your Majesty. But from what I've seen, your kingdom is better off without you.
portal. This is your last chance. I will return to reclaim my throne. And I will have my revenge on those who put me here, who left me here, and who dare take advantage of my absence. The torture. Oh, yes. I have blotted it out. I will just laugh as their wretched pleas for a longer life turn to desperate cries for a faster death. Get back! Commander! Is that...? Wait, what's going on there? You all said the Commander was dead! I... I was dead, Tiny. But now I'm back. Yeah, but that's not how dead works. She makes a good point. We all checked, Commander, and you were very much no longer with us. And she's still not. This is a trick! Kaz, is this one of yours? It's not an illusion. Not me. I'm alive. I'm still the commander. Poker! If she's squishy, she's a mummy. If she's leathery, she's awakened. And if she's nothing, she's a ghost. We're not going to poke the commander, Timey. Listen, Balthazar has Orin. We know. He was taking her south toward Kralkatorik when we arrived. We tried to stop him, but there were too many forged. And I hate being the bearer of bad news, but it appears that Balthazar has managed to build up quite a formidable army of forged. He does seem to make them faster than we can break them. That's why we need an army of our own. And I met someone in the Domain of the Lost who told me where I can borrow one. Borrow an army. Domain of the Lost? Yay! We have a plan! Kaz, have you got anything that can change our appearances? Yes, but nothing that can make the four of us look like an army. It doesn't have to. It just needs to disguise us as someone else after I secure our cover story. Okay, I'll be standing by. And I'll be at the casino in Amnoon. If you can come back from the dead, I want to double my wager on you. Fine. I'll get word to you all when the time is right. Oh, hey, Commander. Good to have you back.